And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. All right, well, we do have a cold front that is moving across the Midwest and is going to say goodbye to those 60 degree temperatures that we saw over the last couple days. There is a little bit of light rain being picked up on the radar, but this is not reaching the surface. It's just some cloud cover that will sweep through our area and we'll have a mixture of clouds and sunshine for tomorrow. The main weather story really that will be changing our temperatures drastically is right now well off over the Pacific coast. A strong area of low pressure will be moving across the continental United States and bring in some heavy rainfall and even potentially some snow across the far northwestern part of the Midwest on Thursday and into the weekend. We'll talk about that momentarily, but as for now, pretty quiet as we go into tonight, we'll have mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies and temperatures falling down into the upper 30s and lower 40s. And then as we wake up tomorrow, waking up with a mixture of sun and cloud cover, That'll be sticking around here as we head into the evening, but then turning clear much, uh, Tuesday night before more clouds move in on Wednesday. Wednesday clouds will thicken throughout the day and then late Wednesday night. That's when we're going to have some light rain showers moving in from the southwest, lifting up to the north and it looks like Thursday. It'll be a little bit of a washout and that rain showers will stick around throughout most of the day on Thursday, but that on the backside cold air wraps around this area of low pressure. And this time we could be dealing with some rain and snow showers from Friday, Saturday and even potentially on Sunday. Uh, there is a weak potential of disturbance that moves in sometime late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. If it does occur at this time frame with temperatures falling down into the 30s, we could be seeing perhaps our first measurable snow of the season. Mostly it would just be kind of a slushy accumulation on the grassy surfaces, but certainly something to monitor. And before that snowfall, well, we could clearly see quite a bit of rainfall and melted down rain and snow shower accumulation out of the system. It's 57 outside right now with an east wind at three miles per hour. Sunset was at 432. We've got 50, uh, 63 in Shano. 62 in Wapaka. It is 52 in Manitowoc. Winds are coming in pretty light. Not as bad over the last couple of days, especially Saturday. It was quite a breezy day. The winds have been slowly subsiding ever since. We'll cool off to about 40 tonight with a north wind at 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow we'll get up to about 54 with a mixture of sun and cloud cover. Pretty light wind out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So then as we head into the next couple of days, we'll get up to about uh, 54 on Wednesday. 53 comes with the rain showers on Thursday and then cooling down into the low 40s and upper 30s from Friday through next week. Monday, certainly a big change of pace. As you said, you know, all things good things come to an end. Well, we're clearly there saying goodbye is. to the 60s. I as soon as I saw those 30s, like there it is, finally, aha. Yeah. We knew it would be here eventually. It's been, just been so nice. And I know. We've been spoiled. We have, but it was inevitable. All right, Gino, thank you. Coming up right after the break, we're going to take you to some 